This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on oceanography and also geomorphology. And we're looking at the life and stages of a volcanic island, how it grows from the ocean floor up through the ocean to pop out of the ocean surface and become a beautiful volcanic island. And the great example for this has been studied for many decades is the Hawaiian island chain, which is intraplate volcanism. So an intraplate volcanism is where you have a certain location on the Earth's surface, be it on the continent or on the ocean floor, where you have a stationary mantle plume, which is a large amount of basaltic magma, rising up from the core mantle boundary through the layers up to the surface and sitting there. And as the plate moves over through convection currents very slowly, the magma is going to burn through and create an outpouring and volcano on the ocean floor or on the continent creating this large volcanic activity in a certain location and in terms of Hawaii create a long line and sequence of volcanoes that are either active or dormant or eventually extinct as a seamount as the as the plate moves over this tectonic hotspot which is the mantle plume in a certain location so a volcanic island can go through a distinct set of stages from development from the ocean floor through to the active volcanic island to a extinct island or volcanic island on the ocean floor called a seamount with the, no more magma erupting now these stages can be discrete and there's a basic three stages or you can extend it to four stages or in this video we can extend it to eight stages and look at the development in each of these stages and the characteristics and what happens to the island to grow and develop into a full-blown active volcanic island like the big island of hawaii so here we have the initial stage the stage one the pre-shield stage or the part where the tectonic hotspot which you see the mantle plume is situated right underneath the oceanic plate in this case the pacific for example and the mantle plume is providing this large volumes of basaltic magma up through the crust through lithosphere and on the ocean floor you have the emergence and flow of pillow lava and these large basaltic volumes of magma on the ocean floor to start to build through the vents the initial stages of volcano on the ocean floor so the magma is going to be more alkali so it's going to contain more of the sodium and potassium and it is lower in silica so this stage kind of stage two and three is the again the shield building event so it is becoming a larger and larger volcano due to the amount of magma that's involved in pouring out of the plume magma plume and building through layers of lava very basaltic lava and pahoe hoe and pillow lava building this volcano from the ocean floor towards the surface of the ocean. Now, in terms of Pacific, that's about 19,000 feet. So it takes a long time, millions of years, to grow this volcano on top of the hot spot. And eventually, it's going to get to the ocean surface and have a phoretic eruption with the steam and water induction into the magma, causing a very explosive eruption out of the ocean surface and creating the volcanic islands. This is an emergent stage. and creates a brand new landmass in the ocean and it's a high volume of magma about 85 95 percent of the magma comes out in this stage so this is stage four we're still on the shield building stage but as you see the volcanic island has emerged from the ocean surface and we have the presence of a volcano and we have the eruptions and the large volumes of basaltic magma coming through and still building this volcano larger and larger with new layers of lava and ash and tephra so but the cool thing is the weight of the actual volcano now being you know close to 100 miles wide of the ocean on the ocean floor is going to cause the whole crust to dip down which is called subsidence and it's going to have a depression and cause a trough and as the plate moves to a certain direction it creates this kind of like depressed valley in the ocean crust the ocean plate as the weight of the volcano pushes down on the surface so you might have some cinder cones here some rifting some calderas and active magma chambers pouring out the basaltic magma 
See, now we're on to stage five and the shield stage. So the actual volcano has been growing over the course of millions of years and is now a point where there is a temporary activity pause. The magma is starting to slow down or even stop and what happens is the lava layers at the top of the volcano are starting to create what's called a cap. So we call this the capping stage where there's like this thick layer of hardened lava, usually basaltic magma and lava, and or causing to be formed basalt. And this basalt forms a cap on the top and kind of like inhibits or slows down the activity of the volcano. And you still have the tephra build up, the basaltic lava flows, the sheet flows. You may have a few areas where there is uh, fumaroles or some gas or steam being let off. We get this kind of steeper sloped volcano and this stage. So as this stage continues, it's moving away from the, the magma, the plume the hot spot and slowly starting to move away and then we get to the point where the volcano actually comes off the plume now in terms of plume dynamics there is some magma left and it's moving with the plate in the direction of the confession currents are pushing it but there is severely less activity and less magma so without this constant addition of new lava pouring out and new rock being formed the volcano goes through a degradation or a d composition a breakdown stage an erosional stage whereby the weather and erosion part of the atmosphere the environment are going to cause the volcano to break down through landslides through hydraulic action through earthquakes through wave action so the volcano starts to break down slowly over time and gets smaller and smaller, and smaller in terms of its elevation and its actual size so we're now on to stage seven, which is called the rejuvenation stage. Now this refers to the reactivity of magma pouring out as eruptions start to continue over a long hiatus or temporary, st temporary stop due to the island moving off the hotspot. Now in terms of dynamics and research, this is still highly contentious on how this happens and why certain volcanoes are rejuvenated at certain times and why magma comes back out and flows as eruptions. But you also get the formation of cinder cones with the tephra, you get lava flows and you get the development of reefs on the edge of the island uh, that can form around the edge as a big ring. And as the uh, submergence occurs and the erosion continues, that the volcano is getting smaller, the reefs will remain and becomes a nice lagoon. So we've reached stage eight. Now the actual volcano itself has become extinct. There is no more magma left. It's, it's gone past the rejuvenation stage of the magma and we're into what's called the atoll stage. Now atoll is a circular ring of reefs that uh, are present, indicating that there was a volcano there at this location in the past. And this volcano has been broken down, eroded and weathered to become lower than the ocean surface so now it's a submerged volcano and we call this a seamount now a seamount with a flat top which indicates the erosion from the volcano is called a gaiot or gaiot now the sediment and sand remain you could get a nice lagoon in the middle and get a nice atoll with very beautiful reefs and a nice ecosystem and biome around it but this seamount now starts to obviously move with the plate and become smaller and smaller and smaller until the atoll is going to disappear as well under the ocean so a quick overview of the process now we could explain it in three stages as a pre-shield shield and post shield or you can explain it in four with the addition of the rejuvenation stage or you can express it in eight stages which we have right here in this video and broken down into more of a detailed step-by-step -step sequence over the course of the birth and life and death of this volcanic island. So the initial stage, stage one, where the plume starts to add lava, flows onto the ocean floor. Then we get the pre-shield and shield building stages of the largest amount of volume of magma coming up. And then we get the erosional stage where the magma slows down, the capping uh, starts to harden the lava on the top and the erosion begins breaking down the, the volcano into smaller size and the wave action and rainfall and weather and then we get the movement of the volcano off the hot spot so there's no more magma there is small amounts of eruptions through to through rejuvenation 
but you get the reef development, lagoon development, sandbanks and, and shoals, but really you have this submerged volcano which now becomes a seamount on the ocean floor until it is subducted in a subduction zone through a trench. Thank you so much for watching the video. has all these videos on earth science.